Al Shabaab launched suicide attacks Wednesday on a military base manned by Ethiopian troops in Somalia, injuring four soldiers, according to authorities. The attack on the base located on the outskirts of the Ethiopian Somali border town of Dolo involved two vehicles and was promptly foiled by the vigilant Ethiopian security forces stationed in Dolo, resulting in the neutralization of the attackers, according to a statement by the Somali government. The first vehicle exploded at the entrance to the base, causing significant damage and injuring four soldiers. The second vehicle was neutralized before reaching the base, averting any further harm, it said. The Ethiopian National Defense Forces stopped the attackers in their tracks before they could wreak havoc. The ENDF neutralized suicide bombers and destroyed weapons to be used by the terrorist group, the foreign ministry wrote on Twitter. The Ethiopian forces, who were attacked by the Al-Qaeda-affiliated terror group, were deployed by the government as non-African Union peacekeepers to support Somalia's government in the fight against Al-Shabaab and guard the border to prevent terrorists from crossing into Ethiopia. The non-AU forces were deployed in the Jido region late last year after hundreds of Al-Shabaab terrorists crossed into Ethiopia, sparking weeks of deadly fighting between the terrorists and the forces of Ethiopia's Somali region. The terror attack Wednesday is the third on foreign troops in Somalia in less than two weeks. The terror group carried out a deadly attack on an AU forces base in the lower Shobel region of Somalia in late May. The base in Bulomea, 110 kilometers south of the national capital of Mogadishu, was manned by Ugandan forces serving under the AU's mission in the country. There are thousands of Ethiopian soldiers in Dolo, some of them not members of the African Union transition mission in Somalia due to security measures that were adopted some times back. al Shabaab militants have often tried to use the border to penetrate Ethiopian territory. In a statement, al Shabaab claimed responsibility for the attack, saying they sent two vehicle-borne improvised explosive devices driven by suicide bombers. For soldiers were seriously injured in the process, state media reported. The Somali National Army and foreign troops are set to activate the second phase of operations against Al Shabaab in Jubaland and southwest states. The group has been fighting the Somali government and the AU mission in Somalia since 2007. Somalia has been plagued by insecurity for years with the main threats from Al Shabaab and the Daesh ISIS terror groups. <laughs>